Welcome to SCG Kids Online. It's time to celebrate the 2020-2021 academic school year at our Move Up Rally. SCG Kids entering kindergarten through fifth grade will get to meet their new theater leads and our incoming sixth graders will also get to meet the youth ministry team. Join us for this on-campus family event. It's going to be a fun night of worship, games, and even some special back to school swag. We can't wait to celebrate with you. Now it's time to enjoy the show. Chosen, Jesus, I am yours. Jesus, I am yours. Forever. 
I don't know, the Taj Mahal. Basketball. No? Okay. Corn cake. Mad cow disease. Is it a, a rubber band? And I don't know. Pablo Picasso. Is that? I'm trying. An old Irish cottage. A haunted house. Uh, 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 baby fish mouth. Baby. A hissy fit. Fine. I don't know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're out of time. You were so close. Really? Yes. What was the word? Indescribable? Oh no, it was waffle iron. <laughs> I was way off. <laughs> oh, but good guesses. Uh, all right. Next word? Because that's just not the way we do things around here. But it would be so fun. Why not? We can't bring 20 baby goats they into your basement. They would be so cute. That's not a reason to bring baby goats in your basement. Why can't you be more fun? Why can't you be more serious? Fun. Serious. Fun. Serious. Oh, hey. Hey, my name is Brandon. And I'm John. This is the So-and-So Show, where we like to have fun yeah. while talking about things that are often quite serious. Yeah. I'm sorry, John. I really, I really shouldn't ask you to change. You are you. I am me. I know you're this right, Brandon. It's it, it's our differences that have made this friendship work as long as it has. Yeah, yeah. Hey, do you remember when we first met? Are you kidding me? Of course I do. It was like it's almost like it was yesterday. Hey. Hey. I like that shirt. Thanks. John, that was yesterday. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. When we first met. Right, yeah. Right, right. I remember it like it was 25 years ago. <clears throat> Sup? What's up? Hey, that outfit's all that in a bag of chips. Thanks, home skillet. Your memory is very bad. That's, that's not how we met at all. Plus, we were way younger 25 years ago. Ah, oh, right! Yeah. I remember it like it was 
No! Uh, what? Stop. Let me, let me do it. Okay. Hey. Hey. Oh yeah, it, it's all coming back to yeah. me. Yeah, just yeah. a couple of creative kids, our whole future ahead of us. Uh -huh. hey, what would you want your younger self to know if you could talk to him today? Don't be afraid of mayonnaise. It's delicious. That's not true, first of all. Mayonnaise is gross. It is. It's and second, wouldn't it be neat if we could go back in time and talk to our younger selves? I've got a better idea. This always goes well. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Whoa, what's going on? I don't know. Clearly we've traveled 25 years into the future from the moment we met until now. These old people, they're future versions of ourselves. It's really obvious. Come have a seat, young yeah. me. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, here you go. <laughs> right. You're taking this well. Just your standard time travel episode. Uh -huh. Didn't you ever watch Quantum Leap? Yeah. Oh, of course you have. You're me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we obviously know who you are, uh, but what do you know? Oh, I'm really good at math and writing. Uh, oh, and I'm also really good at making sounds with my mouth. Oh. I totally forgot we could do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about you, me? What, what do you know? I know that I can't stay here very long. My father wants me home before lunchtime. Oh. Are you serious? You just traveled through time. Take a minute, man. Make some mouth noises. <laughs> Is this really who I'm going to be spending all my time with in the future? It's not that bad. Whatever, dude. You're way too dull for me. There's no way we're going to be friends. Oh. This is our future. Do you still not get it, genius? Oh, see? He called you a genius. I was being sarcastic. Simpleton. Okay. Now, wait a minute. I think that sounded like an insult, Mr. Boring McBoring Pants. Don't attack him. That's me. What are you, his dad? Yeah, what are you, my dad? You guys are so mature. Can I go home now? Yeah, go, and I hope I never see you again. Yeah. You will see me again. This is our future. What are you talking about? Can we please just stop? None of this is actually possible. Oh, there he goes again, taking away all our fun. This is serious. Fun. fun. Serious. Fun. 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 Serious. Fun. Serious. It's, it's Bible, Bible story, story time with, with Kellen. Kellen. What is up, guys? Whoa. Am I seeing double? Hey, Kellen. Hey, Kellen. What's up, Kellen? Sir. What exactly is going on here? A time travel episode. Ah, gotcha. What story are we doing today? It's a story about some friends who had to get creative to help another friend. Want to help me out? Sure. Sure. Awesome. Our story today begins with a group of friends. We don't know their names, so let's just call them Egon, Winston, Peter, and Ray. The friends wanted to help Ray because he couldn't walk. They had heard stories of how Jesus had miraculously healed a lot of people. So when they heard Jesus was in town, they decided to carry Ray to the house where Jesus was staying. I don't know. It doesn't look good. The line to see Jesus is all the way around the block. We won't get to see him until next Tuesday. We've got to come up with a way to get Ray in to see Jesus. Think. So they thought. Hmm. 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 <gasps> I've got it. We'll throw him. What? No. All right. All right, I'll supervise. All right. Okay. On three. One. One two. two. Three! There he oh, goes! Go! Oh, there you go! You got this! Yeah. Oh. Keep on! Ah. Yep, 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 right in my ear. Yep, yep, you, you got this. I, I'll, I got your blanket. 
Uh, oh, that's not uh, good. Here he comes. He's coming uh, back. Uh, Careful there. Don't uh, uh, make it. Uh, uh, you got this. Keep on going. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, 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 here you go. Uh, Get that uh, over you. Whew. Huh. That didn't work. Of course it didn't work. Okay, that looked really fun. But they didn't really throw their friend against the wall. What they did do was very creative. They made a hole in the roof of the house where Jesus was. And they lowered Ray's mat down to see Jesus. Whoa! 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 Hi, Jesus. Hi, Hi Jesus. Jesus. Son, your sins are forgiven. What? He can't say that. We, only God can forgive sins. You with me, guys? Guys. Ugh. You with me? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why are you thinking these things? Is it easier to say, your sins are forgiven? Or to say, get up, take up your mat, and walk? But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. I tell you, get up, take up your mat, and go home. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Jesus did a miracle in front of all those people. Probably didn't give the guy the ability to fly like that, but it was still miraculous. And it all began because a group of friends came up with a creative way to help their friends see Jesus. The end. That was great, Kellen. It's great to see friends working together to help each other out. Mm -hmm. Totally. We all need people in our lives who can be there when we need them. Plus, we need to be people who are there when others need us. Just like Brandon is there for me. And John is there for me. But we're so different. Yeah, but that's what makes the relationship work, right? You're like the serious one, so it helps keep this show from going off the rails. Oh, and you probably help us loosen up and have fun in a way that makes us more creative and makes the show more interesting. And, uh, and Kellen's the glue that holds it all together. Did you hear that, Kellen? You're the glue. Oh, thanks, guys. And it's an honor working together with you to help others see Jesus. Thanks for the story, Kellen. See you next time. Bye. That was fun. Seriously. Hey, you want to go do a, a show together? Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> we'll work on that. Good luck. Reveal the question. Oh, yeah. How can working with others make you more creative? Maybe different people have ideas that would never occur to you. Or they know some games that you've never played. Or experiments you've never considered. Or mouth noises you've never tried. <laughs> and so it begins. We'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. All right, Chad, this is the one. I think we can do it. Our <laughs> empire. We're not gonna... Oh! Okay. Together. We have been trying to get that down forever because I was sitting here, I was building like the foundation of, of this tower that we had, yeah. but I could not get the balance down, okay? I kept trying earlier, huh? I kept trying and it kept falling, but Julia, she's got really good balance. She's good yeah. at balancing things. Like, show up, show me how good you can balance on one foot. Watch this. Easy. And spinning, and spinning. Okay, Julia <laughs> is a master balancer, okay? So, when she stepped in, you took my, just the base level, and what'd you do with it? I brought it up even higher, because we wanted a really tall building, and so we had to balance everything out and have a good foundation in order to bring it taller and taller. Yeah, watch this. Oh no, oh no, I really didn't mean to do that. Oh no, Julie, I'm so sorry. It's okay, Chad. And guys, guess what? Chad is 
the best designer ever. He knew all the pretty different blocks that we needed to use to make our building look really nice because we always need to have different like paintings and colors and so we have different shapes on here. Like, I, I'm so sad because I'm not a good balancer, so the idea of rebalancing this is like so scary to me. Don't worry, you can pick out all the perfect blocks and then I can help you balance them. Okay, okay, that sounds awesome. That's kind of like how God works, you know. He has us kind of work together and it makes something amazing, more amazing than if we just did it by ourselves. And it's more fun to work together. Way more. God created us to work together. Yeah. Can we think of some things that God's created that people had to work together to make? Um, hmm. Well, what about, what about just this block? Well, yeah, definitely. I'm pretty sure it was made in like a factory where yeah. people all work together. Yeah. Someone didn't even go out to the forest and chop down the even tree that it came from. Yeah. That was definitely not, like, not the same person that probably made and, you know, sanded it, you know, and made it smell like lemon. Yeah. Well, I mean, even the tiniest things like this block, and then even the biggest things like Disneyland. Like Disneyland. There are so many people that work at Disneyland, and they all work together to make it one of the happiest places. Wait, wait, wait. Are you telling me that Walt Disney didn't go and build all the rides himself? Oh, no. No? Are you telling me he didn't no. go and make, like, the popcorn each day and the churros? No. He had other people that he had to work together? Yeah. Okay, okay. And it was a lot of fun. Okay, okay. Here's, here's a good one. How about church? Oh my goodness. If you guys have seen church recently, we all have had to work together. Everybody. Yeah, and me and Chad, we're working together right now to put on this awesome video for you guys. That's right. We have all, everyone, even Miss Lori Lynn's holding the camera behind you guys. So without everyone working together and everyone's skills, it wouldn't work out. Sometimes my little nephew even gets bummed because he thinks he can do all the jobs by himself. And he asks me, he said, Chad, why, why am I not able to do all this? And I said, well, you need to work together with everybody. He's a lot younger than you guys, but that's something that he's learning even right now. And so it's important to remember our Bible story for today. All of the friends work together to bring their friend who is paralyzed to Christ. And not only was he healed from paralyzation, but he found out who Jesus was and was forgiven from his sins. So together, when we work together, we can help lead each other to Christ and remind so awesome. each other to read our Bibles, yeah. to pray, and reflect God's love in everything that we do. And even when we have friends that build us up in Christ, that's so important when we just hang around people that are act like Jesus around us. So we got to get back. We're going to keep building this. I need you to show me how to uh, rebalance this again. That's okay? a perfect block. Okay. Put it down. Uh... You got it. The other way. Oh, other way. Okay, okay. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Can you can you do the last final piece? Okay, I'm hoping. Oh, okay. She did it again. The Yay! balance master. All right. See you guys later. Bye. Thanks for joining us tonight. There are lots of ways to find out what's happening at SCG Kids. You can visit the church website, scgchurch.org, or just find SCG Kids on Facebook and Instagram. We love to see what you're up to, so be sure to tag us at SCG Kids so we can stay connected. As always, if you have any prayer requests, please text or call us. Have a great week.